Sabita, eh. These seizures are a fallout of our uncompromising position to strictly enforce the law and protect the lives of our people. The codeine syrup, which is reportedly being abused by mostly young persons in society, is associated with addiction and in the long time usually results in anxiety, depression, memory loss, and damage to vital organs and the brain. It is pertinent to note that the damaging effects of drugs have led to preventable deaths for consumers taking them outside doctor's prescription. The pieces of used tires, on the other hand, six in the last, during the last two weeks by federal operation units, is not only limited to the implementation of import prohibition lists, but also a giant st stride to mitigate auto crashes caused by damaged used tires. These tires are squeezed, compressed, and tucked into themselves for ease of concealment, thereby causing them to crack. They are oftentimes expired while their rigidity and strength are always compromised. Drivers could experience a blowout or a sudden rupture as the steel wire meant to keep the tires in shape or to reinforce them have always been disorganized in the course of smuggling. We once again advise that any investment made in the smuggling business is meant to be a loss because we will keep battling these enemies of our country. I urge all patriotic Nigerians to continuously support the Nigeria Customs Service with helpful information that will aid our efforts to beat smugglers to their game. We have to have seen some of you yesterday at Ibadan. And uh, I saw some in uh, Abiyakuta last week. So what we're doing today is a continuation of uh, what we did uh, last week in Abiyakuta. So I'm therefore pleased to present a follow-up on the significant strides made by the Nigeria Customs Service in combating the illicit trade of drugs within our nations, our nation's borders. Building upon the insights that were shared during our recent press briefing, addressing the seizure of a range of illicit substances, this update focuses on the resolute efforts of our diligent customs officers in intercepting yet another shipment of illicit drugs. As part of our commitment to safeguarding our society and protecting the well-being of our citizens, the NCS has again demonstrated its dedication to eradicating the menace of drug trafficking. Last week, Officers of the Federal Operations Unit Zone A, acting on credible intelligence, flagged down a DAF truck close to Ijebuode Junction on Lagos Ibadan Expressway. An examination of the truck revealed the concealment of 299 cartons of codeine syrup inside the truck. We are yet again drawing national attention to the danger posed by unrestricted access to the use of dangerous drugs. Codeine syrup, codeine syrup, as we know, is designated as a controlled item due to its rampant abuse by our delinquent youths. The misuse and the illicit distribution of codeine-containing medications have given rise to grave security and public health concerns, contributing to a surge in addiction adverse health effects, and societal ch challenges. In response, regulatory measures have been implemented to curb its availability and unrestricted access. This underscores the importance of addressing this issue as part of a broader effort to safeguard public health and well-being. On our part, we will continue to part partner with NDLA 
and other relevant government agencies to curb the spread of the menace and protect the future generations of Nigeria. Smugglers of rice and premium motor spirits, PMS, popularly known as petrol, continue to test our will to put them out of business. Smuggling of rice compromise our revenue and sabotage our food security. Despite the biting effect of fuel subsidy removal on our economy, smugglers still attempt to smuggle PMS across our various borders. They met their Waterloo in different operations conducted by officers of the Nigeria Customs Service Zone A. The following seizures of both items were recorded within the last two weeks. The first one is a total of 4,252 bags of foreign parboiled rice in 50 kilograms each at Dangote Imashai in Ogun State, the Shaki Axis of Oyo State, Owode Adogodo in Ogun State, Idi Roku Oumbe also in Ogun State, Okokomaiko in my two axes of Lagos State and in Adoekiti of Ekiti State. Similarly, 5,600 liters of PMS, premium motor spirits, were intercepted and seized when smugglers attempted to take out this strategic resource through Ojaodon axis of Ogun State. Other items seized during this period includes, uh, let me just emphasize before I move forward that uh, the 5,600 liters of premium motor spirits due to its perishable nature uh, have been disposed uh, by public auction immediately after the seizure and that's why you may not see them here. Thank you. I guess it's a little bit too early for us to make a judgment call on this. Uh, both take a long process. The process of uh, diplomatic rapprochement with our colleagues, uh, getting the customs to agree on what we are going to do jointly along our border, is a process that might take some time. In two weeks, uh, the customs administration will be coming to Abuja for us to continue what we started in Benin Republic and get a wide range of agreement on what our next strategy will be. The same thing for smugglers. They take their time. They, they pick these things, sometimes they transload, sometimes they put them in smaller pieces and then, you know, look for the best, uh, best uh, routes they will take to evade uh, customs uh, operatives. Uh, I understand that this particular one, they were on their trail, on their trail for quite some time before they eventually intercept them at Ijebode and arrest. So uh, it might be very difficult to say it was particularly based on the discussions that we are having. But we had very credible intelligence regarding the movements of this particular truck. We followed the intelligence and we got the results. This is the crux of uh, the working visits that uh, I have embarked upon in the last uh, one month. I have uh, visited all these places. I have seen them up close at work. I have reviewed their strategies with, with them. And uh, I've had very intense engagement with the officers. And uh, we can already see the result of these efforts, you know, with this kind of... The seizures I've just talked about cut across the entire southwest, as far as Adwikiti. So what it means is that uh, whatever efforts, whatever strategies that we have put in place in the last two weeks is working. And as we are announcing this here, we are also having uh, announcement of results, even in the ports. Uh, in the next few days, uh, I'm going to... Uh, invite you again to see what we have in the port. We just want to make sure that we put all of them together and do one major press conference. You heard about the arms and ammunition in uh, Idiroko shortly after, after we left. So by the time we fully integrate technology into this, I can assure you that uh, the results will even be more impressive than what we are having now. So on behalf of myself, I want to say thank you to those who are not raising hands so that we can leave uh, this song <laughs> in good time. I thank those who are not raising hands. My message to them is very simple. One, smuggling is bad for our economy. Smuggling is also bad for the future generations of Nigeria and that customs alone cannot successfully
confront smuggling. So I sought their partnership and unconditionally, all of them, all of them gave very strong assurance that they were going to cooperate with us. I was in Shaki yesterday. The Okere of Shaki was very, very, very generous in telling us that they will support us. They even told us that they are going to provide land for us to uh, put our facilities if we want to uh, build new facilities to support anti-smuggling. It's the same uh, thing all in, everywhere that we have been to in the last uh, two weeks. So we are going to be working very, very closely with them. And this is also why we said that we also need to take a notch further our plans, our corporate social responsibility plan to bring those members of the, uh, those communities uh, where we operate uh, under our fold and see what we can do to improve their lots in those border communities.